When movies portray password cracking, they make it look like something that can be done in seconds, but that's a big misconception. Let's take an introductory look at the real process behind cracking passwords. Warning. This video is to show the science behind password cracking. Any examples used are well within the realm of the law, so do not use this information for illegal purposes. Don't be stupid, guys. Alright, so this is going to be an introduction to a couple methods of password cracking, so don't expect an in-depth, exhaustive cracking resource. Now to begin, we're going to start by cracking something simple, and believe it or not, legal the PDF. Yes, if I have a PDF that I forgot the password to, it's completely legal to use password cracking software to retrieve it. Now before we get started, here's a little bit of information about password cracking. If you want to crack a password, don't expect to download a program and presto bye bye passwords. It's actually a lot more difficult than you might think. If you can't guess what someone's password is, cracking it could take days, months, or even years. For this example, I have a PDF created by one of my family members in which they forgot the password. They asked me to see if I could recover it. So I'm going to show you a few password cracking techniques to get the password back. If you can try guessing it, that would be the easiest way to gain access. So here's a few tips to try and help you do that. First off, if you go to the link below, you'll find the top 500 most commonly used passwords. You'll notice that a lot of them are things like 1234560123 and so on. So first try any combination of numerical counting up to the number 9. You can try any of the common passwords on that page like QWERTY, password, monkey, let me in, because you'd be surprised how often those actually work. The next tips work best if you know the person whose password you're trying to guess, because the next most common passwords involve the person's name, such as their first name or their last name or their first initial and last name or their first and middle initial and last name or their favorite band, favorite song, favorite sport, favorite movie character, and things like that. You could also try combining one or more of those and even try reversing them. Now if their password requires a number, you can first try the number 1 because that's the most commonly used. Then you could also try the last two digits of an important year to them, such as their birth year, wedding year, or graduation years. If the person that created the password is not technically inclined, then after trying those few tips, you'll probably have guessed their password. But if that doesn't work, then you'll need to move on to something more advanced. These advanced methods usually call for specific software. In this case, it calls for PDF cracking software. I'm going to be using a Windows only app called AppNemi PDF Unlocker, which you can find here. Download and install it, but as with all password cracking software, be careful of installing spyware and viruses. So when you see a window like this during the installation process, just click cancel. How does this app work? Well, it involves two common password cracking attacks called brute force and dictionary, as you can see by the tabs. We'll look at them in a second, but first select the PDF that you want to crack and select the destination for the cracked version of it. You'll see two options for the minimum length of the password and the maximum length. Generally, passwords are never under three characters, so you can set the minimum to three. If you know the maximum length, you can enter that, otherwise just go with something like 10 or 15 characters. Okay, so let's take a look at the dictionary attack first. This is a very common tool in the password hacker's arsenal because if the password is an actual word found in the dictionary, then this method will find it. Because what it does is it goes through a dictionary list and tries each word in the dictionary until it finds the correct one. With this program, you can create and use your own dictionary list, but if you browse to the installation directory, you'll see that one has already been installed with this program. If that option fails, then the last resort is to use a brute force attack. 
in this attack you give it a list of all the possible characters that you think would be in the password such as lowercase and uppercase letters numbers and or special characters then it cycles through that list and tries different combinations and lengths of each of those characters until it finds a working password. Sound easy? Well, it depends on the complexity of the password. If you didn't know the benefits of a complex password, here's the cracking stats. We'll assume that the password length is seven characters since that's the average. If your password only contains numbers, it'll take less than a minute to crack your password. If your password was all letters, either lowercase or all uppercase, it would take about 13 minutes. If you used all letters that are both uppercase and lowercase, it would take 28 hours. If you mixed uppercase and lowercase letters with numbers, it would take about 4 days to crack the password. And if you added common symbols into that mix, you've bumped it all the way up to 87 days. Notice that if you added just one more character to your password to make it 8 characters long, you've increased the difficulty to 23 years. So take that into consideration whenever you're coming up with your next password. Alright, so back to the task at hand. This program offers prefix and suffix fields in case you know what the password begins or ends with. And let's say the password is only lowercase letters. Then click start and let the brute force waiting game begin. Alright guys, I hope that you not only learned a thing or two about cracking passwords, but also how to make yours more secure. If you want more, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.